Well, hello! This is Jimenism Total Nerdy Channel. And uh, it has come to my notion that there are lots of people that don't know how to make a turret using Spider 0804's tank ship. Um, he's a friend of mine, and to get the ship, um, just check the description and everything. And, well, you have the code and everything. Uh, access to it there. But we will be making a turret. Just like this little beauty that my friend Nick has made. Um, but maybe we will make a little simpler turret. But the basic of how to make them, uh, how to make everything work. And uh, you can see that uh, there are people very skilled with uh, modeling also. And modeling you can do yourself. But a mouse aimed turret like this. So let's begin. Okay, so what you do is you first, well, might as well, we will need a share. Spawn the share you like. Um, we will make a car sized little turret with a 50 millimeter cannon or something like that. Um, so we need some props. So we use S props here. We go to geometry and we want a small disk. Like this one, but this. And then you will need to change uh, the base plate when you install it to vehicle um, also. But we will spawn a base plate for uh, tutorial purposes uh, because you might want to use the same base uh, plate as the base plate of the vehicle you will be putting it on. Or you can weld the base plate directly to your vehicle when the turret is done. But you will save some weight if you do use the same base plate for the vehicle. So um, when you save it, you, you can kind of remove this when you spawn it and then install this disk on the vehicle's base plate as we proceed. But that is a later issue. So we will continue with the uh, we use axis center like that and then we have a nice axis uh, we need to find a nice gun and well here we have the 50 millimeter short cannon uh, just perfect for us 300 kilos car sized um, little well cannon and um, well, basically align this over your plate like this and then use X center again like this. Hit the side of it right there and then we have a perfectly mass centered axis so it basically is uh, perfectly balanced which is fantastic. Now we will need to spawn some wiring or we will change some weight. Maybe uh, the, it's 300 I don't know. Um, we put it a bit over just to be safe. Um, or it doesn't need to be super heavy actually. Uh, my friend Nick learned me that a long time ago. And base plate, well, it should always be heavier than your cannon. But your base plate of your vehicle usually is. Otherwise you have a bit um, weird setup. Well, now we need to spawn some fancy stuff. We spawn them on the turret if we want to change base plate later on. Pod controller, link it up by red clicking right away. Um, now we also need a cam controller. Now the settings are a bit important. So look here client side movement, client side zooming, uh, draw player, optional of course, draw parent, like that. And this should be the settings for your cam controller. So remember that. Otherwise it not work. I will just slowly let you check it here. Like first scroll up. This should be checked. Like that. And you see. Mm. So uh, next part we will need is the EPG. Now we are some settings uh, needing to. This need to be sent to HUD. Set to HUD. Uh, and well these are basically optional but 
set it to this as safe only the middle one unchecked um, so we spawn it here I don't know if it's uh, well whatever we need to link this vehicle so we will right click like a port controller but uh, this is e2 graphics processor very fancy and well we have the expression too um, here we have turret hood combo which is what this is so you need to get that uh, ship and save it as a well or basically yeah you probably know how to save it so load it up and we will spawn it somewhere here that's right now we will get to the wiring let's go um, yes activate or activate of course uh, then this is set up then we need to have the ship activate on port controller activate uh, next weapon well we only have one weapon cam is going to the well the cam controller that we spawned uh, EPG well that's the graphics processor which we have there gun connect it up to the gun like this base well this is the base plate so if you change base plate it might be good to change that too share here we have the share okay let's unfreeze everything and go for some testing does this not work like a charm? We can even zoom in and out, even though the zoom is quite far, but well, this is how to make a turret. Now we will be, well, giving it a nicer model and also spawn some ammo. Uh, if you're very new for ACF, I can just very fastly spawn a ammo box and install it. So, what do you want for this one? I say we want armor piercing high explosive and it's a short cannon SC um, that is 50 millimeters SC it is, yes um, then we can go to we want, we want tracer and we want quite much filler volume okay propellant length, projectile length filler volume I don't know this might be a good setting 70 millimeters armor penetration yeah that's probably good that's a too large ammo box then we need to change that have a 222 box how many shots um, I can't see 8 or ah, I really hate this Okay, I think we need a slightly bigger one. Well, this one is enough. 2 by 2 by 6 Then we will need to well, get our ACF menu tool. Just link them up. Activate on the port controller as well. Oops. We'll just place it down here. And I will fix some nice modeling for this one, um, but we need to have fire. We have the fire on mouse one. So let me just model for a second.
Oh well. So now we have a nice looking turret, however, and armored and stuff. But there is one thing, we might not want it flying around all over the place while we are not using it. So I will show you how to make a little freezing system for the turret. We go into wire and we will find weld latch. Then take your gun. Whoops. Okay. Oh yes. Um. Aha. I see. Then take the... So. Now we have taken pressed on the gun and on the base plate. Now spawn the controller or maybe we should spawn we can have the controller with the rest of the stuff. Right in here. Now it's welded. Now we will go to gates so we'll find a useful gate for this. Um, see here. I think not will work. The not gate. Not. Yes, not. Spawn it. Then we have A, which will be activated on the pod controller. So we, when you enter it, it's on. Um, then we have welded activate on the not gate. Then everything should be working. Now this is welded, but when we get in, this is free movement turret. But when we get out, it will be welded to the base plate again. Well, we could do some final decorating stuff, like changing the muscle to something we want. Let's have. Oh no. Pompstom. Or maybe a. Yeah, this is a cool. This cool one. And we're just changing the color of this one to something more in line. Maybe about. a bit more white. Yeah, that's a good approximation. Now you do know that you can color your shots and that you know by color that you can do by coloring the ammo box itself. So we will make a gun with pink shots like that. Okay. Ooh, damn it. And fantastic. Well, now there is only one thing left, and that is taking your advanced duplicator. Now shift click and use area copy and you will get the parented parts too. Good thing. I go into my arsenal and save it as 50, no not 40, 50 millimeter short cannon car seized turret something like that okay it's badly spelled and everything i don't know but that is basically how to make your own acf turret using spider 0804's tank ship so i do hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and i will be seeing you in the next video or tutorial or what you now choose. So have a good one, Jimdism officially out.